Greetings my most excellent painters! Uh, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. This is the first installment and uh, the way this works is you ask a question and I try to answer it. Um, first question I got is um, about copying items, making uh, casts out of items that you have. Um, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about what's legal, what's not legal. Uh, for example, if you have a manager, any any uh, manufacturer, what's uh, uh, will do. Uh, for example, like Games Workshop, um, is it legal to make a copy of this manager? Yes, it is. You can make as many copies as you want. Um, can you sell them? Can you sell them when they're painted? Are you allowed legally, as far as rule-wise is concerned, to use them at a tournament? No. Um, as soon as you start selling this stuff, um, it's, it's becoming illegal. It's kind of like making copies of your own CDs at home. You can make as many copies of the music you bought as you want. You're just not allowed to sell them. You can give them away for free, but that's, that's pretty much it. Now, that's the good news. It's not illegal. The bad news is it's not worth it. Casting items is extremely expensive. Um, now, you, we'll, we'll talk about prices a little later, but you will see it's absolutely not worth to copy a manager. Uh, much cheaper to buy one okay so really the only reasons why you want to copy something is you're missing a part and that's actually what I'm going to show you later uh, I am missing a particular part for a Necron Flyer and I'm going to make a copy of that but um, yeah it's absolutely not worth it okay so we got that cleared out and then uh, let's have a look at what we need um, to actually make copies of something well first of all what I have here is uh, Lego blocks um, you know those normal Lego blocks like this. You can use other materials like little wooden wooden boards or anything. Uh, basically what you're trying to do is create a frame, something like this. Um, most people actually will show you to build them like this. You build them like this and then have like three, four levels depending on how high uh, this whole area needs to be for your cast. Uh, I do it a little differently. Um, I actually create like two L's, uh, these two L shapes. Now, why do I do that? Uh, this is actually very nice uh, if you want to uh, be uh, flexible in the size of the things you cast. So if I want something really small, I can do it like this. If I need it a little bigger, I can do it like this. And all I do is I just secure the corners like this. And this whole thing is fine for casting. So you don't, don't have to be worried that you're going to have any leakage here. That's not, not going to be a problem at all. And the nice thing about this is when you actually have to break things apart later on, all you do is this and you're done and you can use it for the next again, for the next cast again. So my recommendation is to do it in these little L shapes. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need, uh, obviously, is uh, silicone. But before we talk about silicone, we're going to talk about this little ball here. Uh, this is a um, forming um, clay, I would call it. Not exactly sure what it's called. It's never going to cure. It's always going to be like this. It's basically clay. It's kind of like non-sticky, um, and we want it non-sticky. Um, so if you go into your uh, local local hobby stores, just ask for like a forming steel or casting forming clay or casting clay. I'm pretty sure that you will find it. In uh, German, it's uh, uh, formen knete, I believe. Okay. So this is what is uh, this is what we're actually going to uh, embed the item in that we want to copy. That's that. Then of course we need silicone, and uh, what I have here is something from a German supplier, PK Pro. Um, it's uh, in two components. Um, it's uh, component A and B. Uh, in this particular uh, instance, you actually use uh, one part of each uh, by weight. Um, there's different items out there. Silicone typically is one to one by weight, uh, but then again, there's other ones out there where you might want to definitely make sure whether it's by weight, whether it's by volume, whether it's one to one, and so on. So that's what we need for um, the silicone. There's also other little silicone solutions out there. This is from the same uh, um, distributor in Germany. Um, it's kind of like a cheap version of the, the it's not really cheap but it's the easy version it's like a it's like a net that has two components and you can actually form right out of this this is actually the easiest way of doing it so if you don't really uh, need like big big parts or anything this would be the best to do i'm not going to show this today all you use it is, it's kind of like the same as for the silicone though this is like kind of like a net like a clay uh, and the other silicone is liquid so we're going to not use this um then there's different uh, um, add-ons which you can use but you don't need them. 
This one, for example, will reduce the air bubbles inside the silicone. So I will actually add a couple of, um, like a, t a tip full of something of this into the components and it will actually get the gas out. Don't really need this, it's nice to have. And then I have something like this, um, and I've got other liquids as well that help you actually um, separate the clay um, and from the um, from the actual silicone. So when you actually open the box, it's easier to kind of tear things apart. This is talcum powder, uh, which is the same stuff that people at like um, gymnastics use on the fingers. So it's easy to get anywhere. Uh, what you also want is some like um, steering pots or pots like this, like plastic cups. Uh, let me just see if I have a better one to show here. So, like this, just a normal plastic cup. Um, ideally, you want them with a smooth surface. I'm going to be using very little silicone, so we're going to be using these, that's fine. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, uh, all favorite um, steering stick from McDonald's. Just grab a few, they're free, so that's what we need. And I believe, oh yeah, the last thing we might need, not necessarily, is like an old brush. Um, we'll see, sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. One more thing, I almost forgot. Um, we need uh, a very smooth surface, uh, and I'm using a mirror for this. Now, <laughs> you can see here, this is kind of like an old smudgy mirror. But I will not leave it in the camera the whole time, because it's kind of distracting. Uh, but yeah, we will need this mirror uh, as well. Okay, I decided to actually cover the mirror, because that's really the only really smooth uh, surface I have. Um, to cover the mirror with uh, post-its, so I can actually leave it in the shot. Uh, when I place my little um, Lego frame on here. So the first step that you do is you put um, some of the clay on the lower level and you want it maybe about uh, uh, the height of one of these things, maybe even a little more, one of these blocks a little more. Um, you need, if it's too, if it's too, um, too um, narrow, if it's uh, not thick enough, uh, the, the form later on will actually bend and then you're gonna have some really horrible castings so you w want at least let's say well how much is that third of an inch or so like a centimeter a centimeter and a half would be perfect so I'm just creating a very rough shape right now of what I want to put in there and I might have to move things along a little bit here as I go so bear with me so I'm just pushing this in, make sure I kind of cover the floor and try to be as, as uh, level and as even as possible with it. Actually I'm going to put a little more in there, it's not enough. Alright, just uh, checked, this looks good. Um, now the, the piece I will be casting is this. This is the front plate of a Necron Flyer, and I'm actually working on two Necron Flyers right now for my uh, Game Stay UK and Game Stay France project. Uh, I have lost one of these. I have absolutely no clue where it went. I'm not even sure whether it was in the box because I bought an open box. But um, I'm just missing one, and rather than buying a complete new set, I will just cast one of these. And uh, maybe actually because it is for a competition, I will actually try to get another one at a store. Um, because uh, the rules, I don't, I'm not even sure if you can't have a re uh, recasted item in there, but I want to be on the safe side, so I'm just going to create a new, uh, buy a new one of these or get a new one of these somewhere and just probably exchange it for the recast one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press it into the into the mold and I will actually use the kind of, um, was it, is it concave or convex, and I can never remember, that kind of bendy side on the bottom. I'm going to try to place it in the middle. My eyes are a little off center right now, so it's not really easy. So all I'm going to do is just going to press this in until its sides cover the, the clay. And that's all I'm going to do right now, because um, what we are casting right now, what we're preparing right now, is only the inside. We're not very concerned with what happens underneath it right now. We are only concerned about the inside here. Next thing we want to do is um, we will create the first half of the of the cast and let me just uh, show you what this is going to look like in the end. We have uh, we will have two pieces um, of uh, silicone with something we, we cast in the middle, and you see all these little pins here. Uh, they actually help us align those pieces uh, to each other. 
In order to create these little pins, what you can use is like use the end of a brush uh, or something similar. Uh, I will be using this, this tool here and just uh, place holes somewhere in the middle between the, the wall and the actual item. Don't make them too deep. They, they just have to be there so it kind of gets some grip as soon as you align those two halves later on. need to get my head in the way a little because I can't really see. Alright, and that's all. Um, so we have now created, um, we've put the part in, we've created the little links that we need later to, al to align the uh, silicone pieces. And now we're going to mix the first part of the silicone. So the question is how much silicone do we need to prepare? Um, silicone is really expensive, like these two bottles that I showed you. I believe they were 50 euros, something like that, so 30, 40. Well, they're not 5 euros, at least that much is clear. So they're pretty, I think they were like 30 or 40, something like that. Um, so it's pretty expensive. Um, so what, what I do is, um, I already know from experience how long these pieces are, uh, like a four piece is uh, three centimeters uh, long, and welcome to all of the non-metric guys, so this is centimeters, and then this is going to be five. So three, uh, we have three by five, which is 15, and then the height of uh, one of these pieces is uh, one, so it's very simple, uh, and we need to cover about one and a half in depth. So we have 15 times one point, uh, yeah, 1.5, that's right. Um, and that gives us the volume of what we need to uh, create. Now, obviously, if we need, uh, what's that, uh, 22.5 uh, 20, uh, cubic millimeters, um, I have to use half of each of these systems here. Okay? And that's what we're going to do next. So I determined I needed... Uh, uh, 22.5 milliliters of um, um, of silicone um, for the whole area. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just measuring this. 22.5. That's a little more. And of course, with the with the view of the angle of the camera, I can't really show you because it'll go. <laughs> it's going to spill everything. But this is 22.5. Now, obviously, I need half of this um, for one of the components because I'm going to mix those together. So it leaves me at about 12. I'm just going to use like 12 milliliters uh, for the volume. I'm just going to do this off camera real quick. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these cups and I'm just going to cut the bottom off. And I'll show you in a moment why I do this. As you can see, you don't have to be really scientific about it. All we need is the lower part, preferably without any of those ridges here. I'm going to get another one. Let me get this out of the way first. So we got those two cups now, and I got half of what I need, uh, of ha half of the uh, volume I need uh, in this little measuring uh, thingy. I don't know the words of this in English, so I apologize. And um, it's very, very little that we actually need here. Um, I was going to put this down. Uh, I don't have a magic marker, do I? No, I don't. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. All right, just gonna pour this back. I don't need the water. As a matter of fact, I really do not want the water, so I'm just gonna make this pot clean again. I could probably use a new one as well, but since we're at it, okay. So from this pot here, uh, where's my mark? Where'd it go? Hello. Oh, it's on this one, of course. <laughs> um, let's see if you can actually see this on the camera. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, you see how very little we actually need. Uh, and one of the biggest mistakes in, in casting...